Hello there guys, uh, my name is Aaron Jalna, here for the sports you know and love, and um, I didn't think I'd be doing this video, um, I'll be honest with you. Originally the plan today was just a preview for Lincoln City and a new episode of the Daily Scrum, but unfortunately I do have some shocking and sad news to report, uh, we have to talk about this, and um, the tributes just keep pouring in as the news broke, um, the 1966 World Cup winner for England and former Manchester United player Nobby Styles has died. Um, he um, was a legend, absolute legend in the football world, and um, he, wow, well, he will absolutely be missed. He's an absolute legend of the sport absolute legend off the field an absolute legend as a person and you know i think all of us have yeah, all of us have been touched by nobby styles's inspiration his passion for the sport his passion as a person and you know he will be greatly missed he will with all our love and support goes to his family and his friends at this time uh we send you all the love uh, i send you all my love and support to his friends and family um, and we do have an official uh, report um, uh, explaining about his achievements and uh, the news about his death uh, from TalkSport. Um, so I want to read that now and um, try and make sense of this all because I, I didn't think I'd be doing this today. So uh, from from the, the TalkSport article, um, it says that England World Cup's winner Nobby Styles has died at the age of 78. The former Manchester United midfielder was a vital part of the three-line squad that won the country's first and so far only World Cup in 1966. A statement issued by his family uh, read, The Styles family are sad to announce that Nobby Styles has passed away peacefully today, surrounded by his family after a long illness. The family kindly asked for privacy uh, at this sad time time um so you know i mean loads of new sources even when i'm filming this just keep processing the news um you know some stuff here from the aberdeen evening press even express um you know saying nobby styles part of the england team which won the world cup in 1966 has died at the age of 78 after a long illness uh, he was part of the Manchester United side, which became the first English club to win the European Cup two years later when they beat Benfica in the final at Wembley. Uh, he was credited for playing a key role in neutralising the threat of Portuguese star Eusebio in the World Cup semi-final. In total, he won 28 caps, the lowest number of any of the World Cup winning side. Um, so here's a little bit of history on, on Nobby Styles. He was born in Collyhurst, Manchester in May 1942 during an air raid. He agreed apprentice terms with United in 1959, at the time when the club was still recovering from the Munich air disaster a year earlier, which in, killed eight players um, in the disaster. Nobby Styles won the 1968 European Cup with Manchester United. He won league titles with the Red Devils in 1965 and 1967, before the Continental success in 1968. Uh, he left United back in 1971, and... Um, he went on to play for Middlesbrough and Preston. He later managed Preston uh, between 1977 and 1981 before coaching Vancouver Whitecaps in the Canadian side and then West Brom between 1985 and 1986. Um, and he then returned to United as a youth team coach under Sir Alex Ferguson for a four-year stint beginning in 18, 1989. Uh, Styles holds the 1966 World Cup's winner's medal um, in a photo on that article as well. And uh, he suffered a series of health issues in later life, including a dementia diagnosis. And um, in 2010, after a mini stroke, he decided to sell his medals in order to leave something to his family. And United bought them for £200,000 and the medals are now housed in a museum at the club. Um, so that bit of information there about Nobby Styles was from the Aberdeen Evening Express. Um, and to be honest, to end this video, um, just my thoughts and prayers and sending all my love and support to the family and friends of Nobby Styles. He will be greatly missed. And, um, you know, we, we, we it's, it's, it's a tragic loss. Um, football's lost a legend. 
and um, you know it, it, he he will be missed. I mean, you know, being a former Manchester United player, there's absolutely no doubt they will do either a minute silence or a minute's applause against Arsenal this weekend, the current Manchester United squad. And, um, you know, around the footballing world, you know, when the games are on this weekend, no matter whether we're in Europe or around the world watching from the stands with different restrictions or whether we're watching from home in a behind-closed-doors Premier League match or league match, you know, fans of Man United especially and Middlesbrough and Preston and West Brom and um, Vancouver Whitecaps even as well um, and especially all of us that represent England Football Club as a national team all of us that knew Nobby Styles as a legend we will all be paying tribute to him this weekend um, we'll all be doing a minute silence we will all be doing a minute's applause whatever kind of minutes we're doing whether it's silence or applause we will pay tribute to Nobby Styles. Um, so that is going to be it for this video. Um, rest in peace, Nobby Styles. You were an absolute legend of the sport. I'm sorry I didn't get to see you play, um, but I'm glad I got to find out about you and find out about how amazing you were as a person on and off the pitch, and you will be greatly missed. So um, thank you guys for watching this video. Um, I will see you guys later for future content, but for now, Rest in peace, Nobby Styles. Thank you very much.